Hey everyone, Happy New Year, and you're probably thinking to yourself, this isn't your house. Well, guess what? It isn't. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, of who are you in? Well, I'm actually in my friend's house, and I'm actually doing my very last video for 2018, and I'm going to be telling you, and I'm going to, my New Year's resolution update, and my Merry Christmas update of what I got for Christmas. And, the, and now you probably now apparently I was going to do a Merry Christmas update of what I got for Christmas. Unfortunately, the video didn't upload very well, so I had to delete it. But on the plus side, I uploaded Kaiju Rampage, and I'm going to be uploading a full movie of Kaiju Rampage, and it's 51 minutes long, basically long as an average movie. But believe it or not, it's my second longest movie I've ever made on my YouTube channel. Second, the first one was um, The Animals of Canada. And this will be my last video I will do in 2018. And in 2019, more videos all around. And I'm going to be bringing, I'm actually going to be making a video about, uh, about black history for my, t for my principal, Mr. DeFran at St. Marcellinus. And I'm going to be doing, and, I'm go and after that, I'm going to be doing the Yokai series for, for now on. So I hope you guys are ready for some Yokai action. I'm going to be doing the Myths from the Land of the Rising Sun, in, in case you didn't know. Now, my New Year's resolution is to, and th thanks to Marco, who, who gave me my inspiration, my New Year's resolution is to be positive and to, and, and to forget, about, uh, forget about the negatives and focus on the positives of the future. And my, and my YouTube channel will be, will be an inspiration to everyone. And I'm going to be, and I'm going to be, and I'm going to yeah, be, and I'm going to be, ha and I'm going to be, well, and I'm going to be making videos for you guys from now on. I might be taking requests. So, and I've, I've had a lot of requests for how to train for for Toothless versus Indominus. And I'm going to be doing a very special surprise for you guys after I saw, um, uh, after I saw the trailer for uh, How to Train Your Dragon: The Hidden World, and I after I saw Jurassic World: Fallen Kingdom. Here's a hint. Light Fury versus the Indoraptor. So I hope you guys are so I hope you guys might see it and I hope and I hope you guys are in for it. Now, this video is actually now this video now th now I'm going to be showing you what I got for Christmas. And now, to tell you the truth, the Mattel toys, the Mattel Jurassic World toys are a masterpiece. The 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 Mattel the Hasbro ones and excuse my language are total shit. They're garbage. I'm sorry, but that's true. They're garbage. There's too many screw holes, too many, too many sounds that don't even make sense. And worst of all, I can't even understand what they were thinking. So today I'm going to be showing you. Here we have the Mattel Roarivores Triceratops, the 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 Mattel Stiggy Moloch, the Mattel uh, Proceratosaurus, and the and Mattel Blue, the Velociraptor. So we're going to be uh, moving these out of the way, and we're going to be taking a look at the Triceratops first. Now, the Triceratops looks amazing, very movie accurate, and if you let it lay it down on its side like that, I think you might recreate that scene with Sam, with, uh, with, with, Doc, with Alan Grant up, and with the Triceratops up close. I think that would be really cool, really nice, really interesting, and I think it's really nice, nice to see that. Now, as you can see, let's see now his now his head is well, okay. That's the the sound effect I'm going to be showing you for later. Now his head is on a ball joint, but his head can move up and down, and that's only because of the gimmick. If you look very closely, And apparently my and apparently the and apparently this guy does not have that much articulation. Um, he only has a little bit. His legs are on artic. Are, her leg. His legs can move side. Can move up. And moved up. Up. Can move up side to side. And and his legs can also do the same thing. But he can do this. He can actually do a. His leg can do a full 360. And he and it's both and both of his legs have a beautiful spread. Am I doing it right, Jobby? And another beautiful spread. I hope I should close that so I don't get demonetized on YouTube for dinosaur. 
Yep. Perversion. The dinosaur was 18, officer, I swear! That, okay, uh, I'm taking it. Next okay. up we have Stiggy the Stiggy Moloch. Now, my beautiful baby girl here is actually the cutest thing in Jurassic Park or Jurassic World history. Now, compared to this Stiggy Moloch and the one from Disney's Dinosaurs, I have some exceptions. One, this Stiggy Moloch is extremely well done and very amazing. And and the and the Stiggy Moloch from Jurassic from um, I mean the Disney's Dinosaur actually looks very well. I mean it made minor scenes, but this is di its design actually looks really well done. And and like the and like original Jurassic Park toys, its only gimmick is this. That's it. It has a di has a battle damage. And if you want to clip it back up, you just did do this, and there you go. Now. Now, unlike the original ones, its only feature is that it has a Jurassic Park symbol on its foot. So it doesn't have the JW or J or J or JP anywhere. It also has the the scanning code, scanning tag, which you can scan your dinosaurs and put on the Jurassic World app. If you guys want to, if you guys want to, I want to check it out. I left the link down below. If you guys have some dinosaur toys for yourself, you can scan them, and there and there you go. There you have your own. Now his own. Now her only articulation is that is that she has a hinge joint. She can move up and down, and she also has a has a has a, a swivel joint, which means she can move side to side. So move side to side. She can also do this pose, like she's looking at you. <clears throat> she all. She doesn't have it. Her her legs. Her legs can move, can move in and out, but most of her legs can also have a squeaking like. This, I don't know if I, if I can do the squeak. Yeah, there, there it is. And her legs don't have much of a beautiful spread, but her arm, front arms have a beautiful spread, mainly for the fact that they have hinge joints. And that's it. Now both these legs can have arm and down. Now, this looks really neat. I like this. It's one of my favorites, and this guy could be my mascot for my new 2019 for for 2019 on my YouTube channel. <clears throat> Pretty nice, but T Rex will always be num my number one, always. And the tail cannot pose. Actually, it's a soft rubber. Moving on. Next up, we have the Pro Ceratosaurus. Now, believe it or not, this guy actually made an appearance in the Jurassic Park novel and the Lost World by Michael Crichton, and. And believe it or not, the Proceratosaurus is a member of the species of dinosaurs that can that will evolve into the Tyrannosaurus Rex, or in this case, Tyrannosaurus. And its horn and its coloration is really detailed and really fantastic. These colors look fantastic. It can really be perfect to stalk through the jungle. It's really well done. Its eye, its eye design is really good. Is really well done and colorized. If I can get this on the camera right properly, yeah, there we go. Its detail is really well done. Now the only thing that annoys me is that the paint is dripping off the teeth, but that's okay. It's 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 a minor issue. I I I, I kind of forgive it. Now the only now the only and if you cover up its horn, it kind of looks like a Velociraptor, but nothing can, nothing can compare to the next one. Now its only gimmick is that it's gonna open its mouth and it has a hinge joint on, but the only now the only difficulty is that you have to dig your nails into it to and to open it up. Its arms are on hin on on swivel joints. It can swivel here, a swivel here. It don't the legs can swivel here. Also, it has the code on it too. If you guys want to get it, and the tail, which happens to be very stubby, small, has a swivel here. And the de and if you look very closely, there's black stripes on this guy, which is really a fantastic. I love this. It's really beautiful. It's really fantastic too. Now this is the only time we'll ever get to see a Proceratosaurus as a toy, and I don't know if you guys can hear me, but it's it's still good. And if you guys really, and if you guys have the toy for yourself, I really recommend you pick this up because this guy's my favorite overall. Next up, we have Owen Grady's faithful companion, Blue. Now this thing is amazing. I love this figure way better than the Hasbro crap that we keep getting. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, Blue's, Blue's, a blue stripe doesn't look very identical. 
Now you're probably thinking to yourself, that's actually a lie because in the movie, blue striping actually looks looks exactly like this, and it's very movie accurate. That's very good. I like this. Now her only now now just like uh like Stiggy, her only gimmick is this the battle damage again. That's really good. There's also the same thing the the the, the scanning gimmick. Now, her only tar articulation is that the mouth can open and close, really nice, and the teeth are, can are completely invisible. The paint job in the mouth isn't great, but if you do it like this, that's alright. Now, the head can move up and down, which is kind of a weird thing, weird articulation. Side to side, and, and it can swivel, hit arms on a hinge joint, both of them do. And the legs have the same thing, but kind of like, like Stiggy's, it's very tight for some reason, I don't know why. The leg doesn't have the same thing, and the tail ha is a bendy rubber. And that's it we all, all have for today. I'm actually a girl. Now the next thing I'm going to be showing you is something I got from my Zeatrisa, is this. Dare I say more. King of the Monsters 2019. Coming up soon. So damn beautiful. So damn beautiful. And I'm wearing this to the movie on opening day or any day, whatever comes first. There you have it, guys. That is my New Year's and Merry Christmas update. And apparently this is my last video for 2018. There will be more videos in 2019. And I wish you all a happy new year. I'll see you guys next year. And by next year, I mean, well, by midnight. Peace. I'm going to be releasing another video coming soon. Like right now, soon. Happy New Year!